Hi everyone. All the pre preliminary works to be done by us for passing accounting entries for redemption of preference shares are explained by me in the last session. In this session, let us proceed with accounting entries for redemption of preference shares. Let us pass the entries under first step. As we know that the first step is to pass the entries for fresh issue of shares, fresh issue of debentures if any and sale of fixed assets if any. Here all the three items are there. First we can pass the entry for fresh issue of shares. As the shares are issued at a premium of rupees 1,25,000, the entry for fresh issue of shares is bank account debtor to equity share capital account. with the nominal value of shares to securities premium account. As the shares are issued at a premium, the amount of premium has to be credited to a separate account called securities premium account. As we know that the proceeds from issue of fresh shares is 2,50,000. Those shares are issued at a premium of rupees 1,25,000 and the total amount received is 3,75,000. This is the entry for fresh issue of equity shares at a premium. Under the same step, we have to pass the entry for issue of debentures. As we know that the company issues 1,010% debentures of rupees 100 each, the entry is bank account debtor to 10 percent debentures. The debentures are issued at par 1000 debentures at the rate of rupees 100 each. So, 1 lakh is a proceeds from fresh issue of debentures. This is the entry for issue of debentures at par. For the purpose of redemption, the company sells its fixed assets of rupees 1 lakh for rupees 80,000 at a loss of rupees 20,000. Therefore, the entry for ish sale of fixed assets is bank account debtor for receiving the amount of sale proceeds to fixed assets as they are sold by the company and two, so profit and loss account has to be debited for loss. Fixed assets go out of business worth rupees 1 lakh. The amount realized from the sale is only 80,000. So, rupees 20,000 is a loss to be transferred to profit and loss account. As we know that if there is any loss, it must be debited to profit and loss account. So, these are the three entries to be passed under first step for fresh issue of any securities or sale of any fixed assets. Let us proceed to second step. As we know that we have to create the provision for premium on redemption of preference shares out of securities premium and or divisible profits. Here we have securities premium account balance of rupees 1,25,000 and the premium on redemption to be paid is only rupees 1 lakh. So, entire premium on redemption can be provided for out of securities premium. So, entry for creating the provision becomes securities premium account debtor to premium on redemption of preference shares. The premium on preference redemption of preference shares is 1 lakh. Entire amount of such premium is provided for out of securities premium account as we have 1,25,000 worth securities premium. This is the entry for creating the provision for premium on redemption of preference shares out of securities premium 
account balance. Then we can move to third step. Third step is the creation of capital redemption reserve and we have to create the capital redemption reserve out of divisible profits. So, total capital redemption reserve to be created is 250,000. We created it out of profit and loss account balance partly and remaining part is out of general reserve. So, the entry becomes profit and loss account debtor. The amount transferred from profit and loss account that is 130,000 and remaining part is transferred from general reserve. So, general reserve account debtor. 1,20,000 and the total preference share capital redeemed, redeemed out of divisible profits is 2,50,000. The same extent of capital redemption reserve has to be created. So, 2 capital redemption reserve that is amounting to rupees 2,50,000. So, third step is over. Now, we can move to fourth step wherein we have to proceed with actual redemption of preference shares. We have to pass two entries under this step. First entry is for transferring the preference share capital account to the holders account. The entry will be preference share capital account debtor capital account debtor we have to transfer the nominal value of preference share that is 5 lakh. As the preference shares are redeemed at a premium, such premium on redemption is loss to the company. So, it has to be debited premium on redemption of preference shares. The amount of premium on redemption is 1 lakh and we have to transfer the both amount to preference share holders account. This shows that what is the amount payable to preference share holders totally 6 lakh has to be paid to preference share holders. This is the entry for amount due to preference share holders. Now, we can show the actual payment of preference share capital along with premium the entry becomes preference share holders account debtor to bank account. This is the entry for ultimate payment of rupees 6 lakh. So, entries under fourth step are over. So, we completed all the accounting entries required for redemption of preference shares. Finally, let us see what will be the impact of such process on balance sheet items. As we know that the company had preference share capital of rupees 5 lakh earlier, now it is no more. There is no preference share capital now. For the purpose of redemption, the company issued equity shares of rupees 2,50,000. So, in the new balance sheet, equity share capital has to be shown to the extent of rupees 2,50,000. Such equity share capital, equity shares are issued at a premium of rupees 1,25,000. Securities premium. Balance has to be shown in the balance sheet. Premium on fresh issue is 1,25,000, but it is not fully now. We used 1 lakh for creating provision for premium on redemption. Now, the balance available is only rupees 25,000. As we know that we created a separate reserve called capital redemption reserve that has to be shown in our balance sheet. The amount of capital redemption reserve is 2,50,000. For the purpose of redemption, the company issued equity shares and it receives 
share capital of rupees 2 lakh 50 thousand and 1 lakh 25 thousand premium. So, total 3 lakh 75 thousand is received plus on issue of debenture it receives 1 lakh plus from sale of fixed assets it receives 80 thousand. Then for the purpose of redemption it uses 6 lakh. So, the balance available here there is no cash balance available we can assume that the company had sufficient cash balance for meeting the redemption procedure. So, 6 lakh worth cash was there with the company. So, this is the ultimate effect of a redemption procedure on balance sheet items. The new item which was created is capital redemption reserve to the extent of rupees 2 lakh 50 thousand. So, in this way we have to show the procedure of redemption of preferentiates and its ultimate impact on balance sheet items. Thank you.